I'm Ayman and in this video, I'm going to be talking about a case of a patient with a history of pulmonary tuberculosis focusing mainly on the radiological findings and the lung auscultation sounds. Pulmonary tuberculosis is a bacterial infection of the lungs caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis and it can be further subdivided into two types, primary pulmonary TB and secondary or post-primary TB. So for primary infection, it will result in the establishment of what's known as a Gons complex. A Gons complex is a combination of two things. One, a Gons focus and also regional lymph node enlargements. So what is a Gons focus? A Gons focus is basically a granuloma and it represents the initial site of infection within a patient which has primary pulmonary TB. As clearly depicted in this radiograph, we can see the consolidated areas which represents the gaunch focus and also you can see at the hilar region and also the mediastinal regions shown by the black arrows those are the regional lymph node enlargement this represents the gaunch complex and it can further progress through fibrosis and also calcification into what's known as a ranks complex which is shown in this radiograph next Moving on to secondary or post-primary infection. In contrast to the primary infection, the secondary infection consists of granulomatous lesions which are far more widespread. And you can see depicted in this radiograph right here that they, are cons they tend to be localized initially at the upper lobes, particularly at the apical segments. They tend to spread uh, downwards to other, other regions such as the hilar region. Also in this infection, Cavitations may be apparent in radiographs as shown in this radiograph right here at the upper lobe. There is a phenomenon known as miliary tuberculosis which is basically a hematogenous spread of tuberculosis in the lungs which may present in primary or post-primary infection and it looks such it looks like this. It, con it consists of very small granulomas which are uniform in size and they look like nodules and they are very very widespread. Okay, now let's move on to lung auscultation sounds. So in a patient with pulmonary tuberculosis, there are two main sounds that you need to look out for or listen for, uh, which are the, uh, the breath sounds and also fine crackles.